Okay. So we're going to demonstrate vCloud Connector and hybrid clouds. We're going to show how you can monitor and manage virtual machines running both on vSphere internally as well as on public clouds. We're going to demonstrate that with the vSphere client. And what we're going to show is vCloud Connector lets you view virtual machines, copy virtual machines from internal to external, get access to the console, and manage across your hybrid cloud. So here we can see the vSphere client, and we've got the vCloud Connector plugin. And if we start that up, then what we see here are all the virtual machines that are local, so running on private vSphere. So notice there's uh, no cloud director running in this view. We've just got virtual machines on vSphere. And what we're going to do here is add a public cloud by clicking on the Add Cloud button. Then we're going to type in the details of the vCloud API in the uh, dialog box, and that's what is going to let us connect to that cloud. So we're going to type in a few details here. It's a, it's a vCloud Director Cloud, so we're going through the, the API. We're going to give it a name, URL, the uh, credentials, get logged in there. And you can see now on the screen, we've got a public vCloud. So we can see internal, external, and if we click on that cloud, we can see all the virtual machines that run in that cloud. We can also see the screenshot of the consoles. So next thing we're going to demonstrate is migration of a workload. So we're going to take a virtual machine from the vSphere side and copy it to that cloud. So we're going to go back to vSphere. Here's a list of machines. So we're going to pick one and we're going to copy it. So we're going to copy it to public vCloud. We're going to give it a template name. It'll show up in the cloud with that uh, template name. And we give it the uh, set the VDC put in a specific catalog, connect it to a network, and we're going to deploy it into that cloud. So it won't just be a template, it'll actually be a virtual machine that you can go run. And off we go, we can see the progress bar running as it copies it. And then if we go back to the public cloud, what we see is there's our virtual machine that was copied from vSphere in running in the cloud. Now we're going to demonstrate a couple more management features. So you can see all those consoles there, and if we double click on any of those consoles, you get straight to that virtual machine. So you get the access to the consoles through the connector as well. And these are all virtual machines running externally in the public cloud. Now you can also power them off, suspend them, uh, reset the virtual machines, do all that from the connector. The other thing you can do is launch uh, vCloud Director if so you want to get into the self-service console for that cloud. So you right-click on the cloud and there you are. Here we are, um, VMware vCloud Director, and you can log in and get access to Cloud Director. So vCloud Director, uh, Connector, I'm sorry, is a free download. going to be available from VMware.com. So with vCloud Connector, it makes hybrid clouds real for the first time. So you can see your existing vSphere workloads internally, you can see what's running in an external private cloud, or you can see another public cloud internally, and you can transfer workloads between all of those. So the key thing for administrators is this provides a very simple way for them to get access to extra cloud capacity. And you know, we think about cloud computing as delivering IT as a service rather than as a place where computing happens. Free Cloud Connector follows that philosophy. So as an administrator, you can see access to all of your clouds, internal and external, regardless of where they might be.